Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for uh, being here and celebrating with us on this amazing, special day with my beautiful, beautiful bride. She's an absolute princess. And we feel so blessed and so loved to have so many amazing family members and friends uh, be here and travel from so far to be a part of this great, wonderful occasion. Uh, we just want to say thank you. We're excited for our lives together. We're thankful and happy that we know we have such a great support system when we have troubling times because as most people here are married, you know, they're going to come. But we have a great foundation and we're so, so happy. So I just want to say thank you and I hope you guys have a wonderful time tonight. And uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I think you pretty much summed it up, but I just, you know, we can't think of a better way to start our lives together, and we just thank all of you for being here. Each and every one of you has supported us and supported us in various ways um, in our lives until we got here, and we know it won't stop, so we just thank you so much. We love all of you. You know, it took a lot for many of you to be here. Um, like you said, we're just so happy, so let's have fun. <laughs> All right. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. It means the world to our family uh, to have everyone here celebrating Taylor and William on this special day. If you're at this wedding, chances are you already know who we are. But for the select few that do not, I'm Allie and this is Tana and we're Taylor's younger sisters. Sisters are built in best friends and that is nothing shy for the truth of the J. Wish girls. Our mom used to joke that we never needed playdates because we would always find ways to entertain ourselves together at home. Taylor has always been someone I have looked up to for so many years. I wanted to be just like you. I did that because you always held yourself to the highest standard, treated everyone with respect, and you're kind to everyone, generous, intelligent, and adventurous. Why would I not want to possess the qualities that you have? I'm so proud of you for becoming a PA. Not only the rigorous journey, but your day to day is challenging. Many people, many intelligent people can become PAs, but it takes a special person to be intelligent and be able to explain yourself to your patients. Um, your patients are lucky to have you, and the J. Bush Anderson family is lucky to have a PA for our, all our random healthcare questions. <laughs> They're endless. <laughs> Taylor and I are very close in age, and naturally this caused sibling rivalry. In the early years, our grandma likes to tell a story of Taylor trying to smash me on the couch. <laughs> Some may say she was not thrilled to have a little sister, but I think that with time, she proved to be a great role model and a nurturing older sister. The playful rivalry continued over the years, but I am grateful that as adults, we have become great friends. Growing up, Taylor always did the best in school out of the three of us. Not by a lot, but by a little bit. It was noticeable. But she was also the only one of us to throw her keys away, drive the wrong direction on a road trip, and end up in another state. <laughs> and, the kicker, drive away from a gas pump still connected. <laughs> Taylor's probably wishing she could elaborate on that last story because she will claim it was not her fault. <laughs> <laughs> if I were to, to describe the perfect man for Taylor, I would describe him as someone who is a gentleman with a touch of country, who loves wine, and someone who would do anything to support her. Now, most of you may be thinking I just described William to a T, and you'd be right. It's incredible that Taylor has found someone who checks every single box and more. When I first met William, I couldn't notice but how happy they both seemed. I could tell it was a perfect match before I even knew all the wonderful qualities he has. Before Taylor met William, I always thought Taylor was happy. She was in a good place, had a lot going for herself. You know, she was doing well. But once she met William, I got to see a true happy Taylor, and I got to see what you, what you truly looked like. <laughs> <laughs>
In the beginning of Taylor and William dating, almost every time William would see Taylor, he would bring her a beautiful bouquet of flowers. And one day I asked him why he spends a fair amount of money on this. And he responded to me with a grin on his face. Because it makes her happy. And you continue to do this. You make her happy in small and big ways. And I have no doubt that you will continue to do this for the rest of your lives. William is a true gentleman. He opens doors for others, has stri- strong eye contact and handshakes. He has such a kind, generous heart and a strong moral compass. I love knowing that William and Taylor will always support each other in their goals in life. They are both very motivated and driven to create the best lives for themselves. I'm excited to watch the two of you continue to build a life together. I know it will be a happy one, filled with sunny afternoons wine tasting and evenings at the cabin. At work, when, when, I, when I found out one of my patients has been married for 60 plus years, I like to ask them what the secret is. Some of the answers are the classic, don't go to bed angry, or communication is key. But my favorite response was a little lady who said, pick a good mate. I liked this response because it was so simple and obvious, but yet powerful. After about 10 months of marriage, my husband and I are most certainly not experts, but we have learned some helpful things along the way. My most treasured piece of advice we received for the start of our marriage and something that has become useful for disagreements and conflict is to remember that we are always on the same team. It seems like a given when you enter into marriage together, but I always find comfort in that simple reminder during those challenging moments. William, we know you already have four sisters, but we want you to know that today you gained two more. Welcome to the family, William. We're happy to have another brother in the family of all girls. And now if everyone could raise their glasses to the happy couple, wishing them many years of happiness, good health, and tender love. To Taylor and William. Congrats, guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. Thanks, Al. Thanks, Taylor. Good evening, everybody. I am Bobby, also known as Frank, William's older brother. My speech is a little bit different than theirs because while they looked up to their big sister, I still remember the day he was born and pissed I had a new sibling. (laughs) But fortunately enough, he has grown into a wonderful man who his family tolerates and all of his best friends think of as a great individual. And he is blessed to have some excellent friends who will let us know that he is a great person and is somebody that we all could strive to be like, even though he's just a little kid getting married. (laughs) But I still, the day that he and Taylor met, or not the day, the day I met Taylor was a very fun day. We were doing a family um, Christmas tree outing with the brothers. And Taylor made comment that she was interested in disgusting things. And I was like, great, William's perfect for you. (laughs) From that day on, as their love blossomed, the love that my family has towards Taylor has grown exceptionally well too. We love her, and we're so thankful that she is part of this family now. Because, I mean, I've had great conversations with her, and I'm truly blessed and pleased that William, I've never seen him happier. We were told not to talk about exes, The only thing I'm going to say is I don't know Taylor, so I can't. And as far as I'm concerned, William doesn't have any because I've never seen him happier. So in my book, this is the perfect relationship, and I'm so pleased to be here. And thank you all for coming and joining this evening with us. Oh, here we go. You're going to do great. Bobby. My bad. Cheers. I want to start out by saying love and happiness. Love and happiness. Love and happiness. That's all you need. That's all you need when you have these two. Love and happiness. That's all I see when I look at the two of you is love 
and happiness. <laughs> All right, that was my brother's speech at my wedding. <laughs> Literally nothing more. <laughs> Love and happiness. I've waited four nervous. long years for this speech. I've been practicing day in and day out. We were going to do a choreographed speech like the ladies, but I didn't have room because it was just love and happiness. <laughs> That's all it was. We could have up, yeah, we could have done it together, but yeah. Well, it was memorable. One side note, I wanted to make sure everybody knew that those beautiful wine walls over there, my little brother made. So, thank you. Yes. So, what's that? He made that too? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Apparently, he's a metal artist. I, <laughs> he surprises me every day. So, he made this too, y'all. So, anyways, um, Bobby talked about the first time we met Taylor. Um, it was, I think, their second date. Third. Third date. And she within went. Within a week of meeting each other. Within a week of meeting each other, she went on our. Um, annual Christmas tree cutting trip where we wear ugly Christmas sweaters. She put one on and she was riding with the mix. Uh, it's amazing because our buddy Mike over there got us kicked out of a bar that night. Um, <laughs> and she came around for another date. So it, it was impressive. So, but the two of these guys, I mean, so when they first met, William was in law school and she was applying for PA school. Um, we were a little hesitant because she was applying for PA schools all over the place and we're going please get into UC Davis because you go to LA bye Taylor um not that William was saying that that was me saying that, so um but you know as as God works in mysterious ways she got into uh Davis um we got to watch her go through PA school we got to watch William go through law school uh, it was fun watching her go through PA school because she got to go through a clinical trial. She got to tell us about the rectal exams. And I'm like, oh, William's in for a surprise. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but, uh, so. Back. Thank you. I practiced that joke with my friends over there earlier. The first time I said it, it didn't land well and we worked on it. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Yeah, um, but uh, but on a serious note, you know, I was uh, I was trying to write a speech and trying to literally plan it out, and I I wasn't able to. And uh, last night I realized why, because when all these young men were up there talking about William and how great he was, I was realizing that it was hard for me to see my little baby brother, who I'm very close with, he's my best friend, actually getting married to his best friend. And we love Taylor to death. She is truly his other half. Um, and it's still hard for me to accept that my little man is not only a trial attorney, he's marrying his best friend, but he's, he's growing up. Um, and I am so unbelievably proud of him. Um, Taylor, you have truly married your other half and uh, you guys deserve each other. And I am so proud of you both and welcome to the family. Uh, if everyone can raise their glass and we can cheers. Love, love and happiness. <laughs> ah, shit. Love you. Love you. Love you. I saw it coming. It was well deserved. <laughs> I also said you guys were a perfect match. Thank, Thank you. Good Thank match. you. <sighs> hey, you got something right there. <laughs> Get that ready. So first off, James, you might want to run by your speech. You might want to run by your speech, like to your siblings or somebody else. I <clears throat> I ran by a couple of uh, lines with one of my daughters. She said, "Dad, this isn't a roast." <laughs> So I, I have to cut out a couple things. Anyway, uh, I gotta, I'm got last, obviously. Looks like everyone stayed. <laughs> Thanks for that. Nowhere else to go, I take it. <laughs> so I don't know if many of you know, but this is my second father of the bride, father of the, 
Bride. Bride. Father of the yeah. bride speech. Yeah, yeah. Good job. You're good job. I crashed and burned. How's the second one going? It's looking pretty good so far. <laughs> Just came up with that one. <laughs> wow, you're witty. Thank you. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank everyone for coming. Special day for Taylor and William. Uh, I'd also like to thank the Anderson family. You guys have been so welcoming to Taylor and the entire J. Bush family. Thank you. So, <clears throat> let's start off with Taylor. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so Taylor goes to Boise State, loves the school, um, says that she's probably going to end up there after, after school to settle down and things changed a little bit. Um, she stays at Boise a year, gets some um, volunteer work and wiping butts at the... Uh, <laughs> Butts, just butts, James. You're not going to kiss her now, are you? <laughs> uh, she applies to PA school, doesn't get in her first year. And Jan and I offered to have her come home, you know, make some money, apply again. This is four pages, people. Um, we thought for a short time, and... Uh, it took her a while to agree to this, and she's in her mid-20s, no job, single, waiting to be accepted to grad school, and to top it off, move back with your parents. <laughs> Pretty sure the pool, the new pool, was the deciding factor. Um, sure, shortly after moving back, Taylor started the Kiker Lane Roomies group text. <laughs> she was warming up to us. Um, she got a job, applied to school again, seemed to be very bored though. And then it happened. She got a puppy. <laughs> this was good for a while, but then... After another couple months, she seemed bored again. <laughs> this time she decided to swipe right. <laughs> Best thing she ever did. <laughs> so on her second day with William, uh, he, he was coming by to pick her up. It wasn't in Taylor's plans whatsoever to meet us. Janet had other plans. She goes, we are going to meet this kid. She's not, he's not showing up outside and driving off. So after talking a short time with William, I, I found out he's in construction, my field, and had several jobs going. I'm thinking to myself, finally someone in an honest, hardworking profession, get your nails dirty a little bit. And then he said it, I'm also going to law school. <laughs> At this point, Taylor was beyond ready to leave for dinner. And made it pretty clear to William. And William replies, I'm not ready to leave yet. I'm enjoying talking with your parents. So I guess you're back in after the lawyer business. <laughs> then, the, then the flowers started coming up okay at least once a week. Unbelievable. I mean months, not weeks. And then I find out he... You have a family member that you're getting a good deal with. <laughs> I'm a smart man. He's, yeah, yes. I know everything. 
everybody. So not only did Taylor enjoy the flowers, but so did Janet. <laughs> I've probably given more flowers in the last three years than I did the previous 25. <laughs> Thank you again. You're welcome. <laughs> you haven't been happy. <sighs> A short time after meeting William, I asked Taylor, what should we call him? Bill, Will, Billy, Willie, <laughs> and she, uh, straight face, she replies, he likes to be referred to as William. <laughs> From then on, he was the William. <laughs> I guess he is a future attorney. You can't have an attorney by Willie. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to congrat congratulate you guys, finishing school and uh, starting your careers. Cheers. Love you both. I won't kiss you this time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. I know we already said a quick thank you, but I just, I feel like there is a couple more thank yous that we have in order um, I'd just like to say thank you to Catherine and the Anderson family for the beautiful dinner last night. It's amazing. And um, a big thank you to my parents for this day, this weekend. It wouldn't have been possible without you, so thank you. And thank you, Mom, for last night and the beautiful decorations and the beautiful dinner and everything you've done for helping us with this wedding and obviously everything you've done with raising me and teaching me how to treat a woman because obviously it's worked out pretty well for me. <laughs> uh, and I want to say thank you to Roger and Janet for everything you guys have done for us and thank you for our beautiful wedding here today. Thank you for raising the most beautiful, perfect woman I could have ever dreamed of. Um, beyond blessed. I was talking to wine tasting and I said to somebody, I am lucky to have her. He went, no, God doesn't give you luck. God blesses you. And since that day, it's, I never try to say I'm lucky because I am blessed. I am beyond blessed to be married. Holy crap. I'm married. That's kind of cool. uh, wow. Everyone says like at some point you'll go, does it feel real? Feels kind of real now. It's pretty real. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, that means you have to kiss again. <laughs> so on that note, thank you everybody. I hope you guys have a great night and uh, love you all. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.